everyone and welcome again on this tutorial. In this video uh, we are going to talk about the Linux environment variables. Actually we talked on the previous posts about uh, the some of the basic commands in Linux, actually just the basic. And uh, on this tutorial we are going to continue our journey on Linux and we are talking about something very important in Linux a bash scripting actually you need to know this before we uh, go to the next level actually it is the Linux uh, environment variables so what are those Linux environment variables and where are where they are and what's the benefit of knowing this uh, these uh, things well in the bash shell uh, which is uh, the bash shell we've talked about before this is the bash shell I recommend you to uh, see the previous posts and see the videos if you don't know that. Actually, it is uh, using a very cool feature which is called environment variables to store variables which is required by the running scripts and uh, uh, packages and executables in Linux. Actually, it's a very handy way to use uh, those uh, variables and to store uh, some data and use it uh, at demand. So uh, these uh, environment variables, actually there are two kinds of environment variables, global variables and local variables. Global are visible from the shell session and uh, for any running uh, process from that shell. Local variables actually are visible on the shell that creates those uh, variables. So uh, global variables are defined in uh, capital letters actually and we will see uh, what are those uh, global variables and actually they are in capital letters to differentiate them uh, from our uh, user defined variables to get those variables we are just to type print e in v and expand that here and here you can see these are the global variables on the system they are capital letters followed by equal sign and the variable value. So we have here many things, you know, one of the uh, important things like home, this one, and other, uh, you'll see, there is many, many of them. Those are the uh, global environment variables on Linux. Actually, uh, the one which is most important is bath here this is a very very important and we will talk about it just right now so those are the uh, environment global environment variables you type them and you see okay what about typing just we want only a specific one of them like bath for example so we had like uh, typing echo space and dollar sign and path which is capital letters and here you got it this is the only variable now there are many things uh, to type you know like bibing but this is for maybe uh, next level or little advanced like you print uh, env command which prints all of them followed by this pipe space and grib for gribbing only uh, something like uh, which is path like that and here you got it anything on the file uh, equals that path and to be more specific you can make it like that actually the same but uh, as you know you are like searching or narrowing the search to make it more specific to search for specific files uh, specific uh, sorry uh, lines on the output of the print in v command so these are the uh, global what about the local local are also important in fact uh, linux defines some standard local uh, for you by default but there is no uh, specific command to display those local variables but we will see them uh, and we will deal with them and actually it's it's also important uh, those local variables uh, we can set our own variables and we uh, just we open the shell and create them within that shell process and they are visible to that process so how to do that for example maybe like my site this is a variable 
without spaces, take care of that, equals and like geeks, for example. Hit enter. Where is that variable? Echo door sign my site. Enter. And sure enough, like geeks. So this is a local variable. So we are printing it without any uh, problems. Okay, what if your uh, value not just one word, maybe a string? For example, maybe uh, I want to say my site equals and welcome to our website. Actually, this is not correct. You have to wrap your string between single quotations like that. Without single quotations, the bash shell will uh, think that the, the next word is another command. So you have to take care of that. And press enter. And sure enough, if we say echo my site, and yes, it is the whole string. So uh, take care of uh, coating your string between single quotations. And actually, it is uh, just recommended, but not required to set your variables, uh, variable names in lowercase characters, lowercase, uh, to differentiate them between the uh, global uh, environment variables from the system. This is not required, but actually to make it, uh, just to make life easier for you. So uh, this is okay. Okay, what about, uh, you know, uh, global variables? I want to set a global variable. Actually, it's a very easy. You just, you know, this is uh, my site variable. I don't want to make it global. You just say export after de defining that variable already. We already defined it here and here. This is the last one. So it's overwritten by this one. So my site is equal to that string. Export followed by space and uh, my site without dollar sign. So it is like that. Now it's global variable. And uh, actually, there's something confusing maybe for beginners. If we close that, already we have uh, assigned this my site as uh, a global. If we close that session, that shell session, and open it one again with the new process actually, it takes a new process ID, and we set echo for my site. And yeah, there is nothing here. Actually, it is not uh, saved or uh, where, it's, where it is actually, it is not a persistent saved. How to uh, save this, uh, persisting this one? Actually, there is a file for storing those uh, variables for you, actually on your home. And to get, we are already on our home here. We are on our home. So we use nano editor. And the file is called bash rc. This is a file. We hit right on the file and type export. Sorry, export and my site equals between single quotations. Welcome to live geeks. And we save that file. And if you type just right now this command again, you'll not see anything. You have just to close the session and open it again and see the effect. Echo my site. Now it's persistent with you. Even if you restart your system, you already saved that uh, global variable onto your system. So it is now persistent. Okay. And of course, if you want to remove it, you have to edit this bash rc file and just remove this line and save the file. And of course, also if you try, it's still there. All you have to do is just kill the session and open it again and try to uh, see if this variable existed and now it is already not existed. So uh, this is how to uh, set uh, to persist the environment variables by adding it on the .bash rc file. 
so they are uh, available even after restart actually uh, there are some default session uh, there are default sh shell environment variables uh, that the system defines for us as we've seen before actually there is a little trick uh, some uh, system administrators actually use they are adding uh, to the path uh, variable as we have seen here the print env command we have seen here that path variable over here using this long path is and they are separated with this column this and this and this and hold them okay we're adding uh, you know like uh, special uh, kind of variable which is the dot the dot means the current directory that I am in maybe uh, our current directory is uh, whatever and we have an executable Linux executable and we want to uh, you know instead of searching we want to uh, search in the current directory so we can add this column to the path just the same way we are editing dot bash rc and adding the dot uh, ending to that uh, one actually we can add whatever so we are editing this file here and export so we need to modify this path to equal the old path followed by colon and maybe another path or something you know like user uh, local src whatever it doesn't matter okay i think you got the point and you just save that file and hit yes and save the file and the variable will be existed uh, and appended to this path so uh, this is uh, some things that you might uh, need and you you you, you might uh, look for it actually uh, i searched the web for that it is not quite uh, existed but you have it okay um, but uh, the uh, system environment variables where they are located actually Actually, in, you need in order to know that you need to know that there are three types of starting the bash shell: the default login at the login time and the interactive shell, which is not at login shell. And uh, you know, uh, like means when you are uh, before loading your system, maybe you are uh, repairing uh, your system or resetting the root password. Uh, this is before login into the system. And the third one is the non-interactive uh, shell. Uh, which is running like script the system itself running a script or something the login shell which is the first one is when you log into the Linux system like now we're logging to the system and the best shell start, uh, the best shell starts as a login shell and run the whole system over that you know we have to know that uh, like we are what we are in now um, there are four different startup files uh, the order of which is uh, bash shell is uh, process files the slash etc uh, profile which is this one this file this is the first one the second one is at your home which we are in now I'm on home uh, dot bash profile And actually, it is uh, not uh, existed on our uh, system here because this uh, distribution does not have it, but some distributions have it. And the third one is bash uh, login, also some distribution have it. And the dot profile, sure enough, we are on our home. And dot profile, which is this one actually this is the uh, fourth uh, file and the profile runs actually on every startup of the system with every user uh, the slash etc profile actually the first one actually he is the file that runs on every startup but the next three files which is on home slash uh, on your home directory runs with this specific user runs only with you this is for the first uh, sh uh, login shell the interactive shell, actually, if you start it without logging into the system, as I told you, when you are logging like rescue mode or resetting root password or something, this is called interactive shell. And it uh, that interactive shell does not act like the login, 
but it still provides the command line prompt for your uh, commands. So if you start this interactive shell with the system, uh, it will not look for uh, this file uh, slash etc slash profile, but instead it will look for the dot batch rc from your home directory uh, user for the root, for example. Um, the not interactive shell, which is the last one, uh, that shell, uh, the system uh, starts that when executing a script by itself, and of course there is no command line interface prompt, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, so you now know uh, what are uh, environment variables. One thing that uh, maybe uh, you might need it, which is environment uh, variables arrays. Array is a bunch of arrays. And how to uh, set these, these arrays? Actually the same, like my var equals, and between those parentheses, you write like uh, first, second, third, and four. And here, hit enter. Now if we say my var, actually it gets only the first one. So uh, how to print all of them? There is a special syntax for that. Echo and this uh, for by uh, the variable name, which is my var with the square brackets and asterisk. Now print all of them. What about printing just a specific one of them? You just have to uh, set the index and actually the index is starting from zero like the two is the third one starting from zero one two so this is zero this is one and this is two like that to get a specific one and for any of those environment variables where it is an array where it is a string whatever if you want to unset one of them you have to use this unset command and my var for example here without a uh, dollar sign here so if you try to get it actually uh, I, I'm sorry dollar sign here like that it is not existed anymore so these are the environment variables for Linux I hope that you enjoyed uh, we are our journey actually to uh, bash scripting is uh, started so I hope you enjoy everything and stay tuned for the next uh, tutorials and goodbye.